What's going on YouTube? Beatball Junkie 24. Sitting around at the house being a bum on Saturday watching the NFL draft. Um, had an awesome day yesterday. Thought I'd make a video about it. Went to the uh, Diamondbacks game. And they started doing a thing at the ballpark. They actually have a, a, um, a store that they made for game use memorabilia where they're taking bats, jerseys, baseballs, autograph memorabilia, game use scorecards, the placards that they put on the players' lockers for opening day. And basically, they're selling it there. Now, some things might not be the best priced, but um, some things are pretty reasonable in my opinion. So I picked up something yesterday for my Mark Reynolds PC, and I thought this was fucking huge because... I've been putting together a pretty decent collection if you've been watching my stuff and seeing everything that I've got uh, cards wise and now I'm going to make a video to show my memorabilia collection uh, we'll start with the first thing I picked up which was this Mark Reynolds game used bat I got this last year actually what they were doing with these is they were putting them in the main team shop on the lower concourse and this is cracked, very little hairline crack, but it's all still put together. I put a little bit of uh, wood glue in there to keep it from coming apart because the crack goes all the way up to here from the handle. Um, but $25 I paid for this, and I absolutely thought I got a hell of a steal on that. I'm waiting for his next local signing for me to go get him to sign it for me. Um, after that, on YouTube, or not YouTube, on eBay, I ordered a pair of Mark Reynolds Game Use Spikes. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's autographed. It says Game Used 08. Came with a certificate of authenticity. Both shoes are autographed. And I actually have them matched. I bought them from PCM Sports. There's their hologram. Uh... They sold a bunch of his memorabilia. I guess he has a contract with them. And I paid, I want to say, 120 for the spikes. And then the tip of the iceberg, the, the mother of all things now in my collection, Mark Reynolds, game used, 10th anniversary. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get the 10th anniversary patch in there. Game used. Autographed jersey. My girlfriend thought I was crazy. I paid three seventy nine out the door after tax and everything for it. But basically, my argument was I was going to end up buying this one little piece right here if it ever came out. I was willing to pay two hundred bucks for a logo man. Well, now I got the whole jersey with the uh, got the MLB hologram right there on the uh, on the jersey uh, shows pretty good wear um, you can tell it's been through the wash a few times because the wrinkling on the patches and everything and uh, I think I might have this photo matched when you hang it up probably not going to be able to see but this E is a little bit higher than the R and I found a couple pictures on Getty Images that show something similar to this E being above the bottom of the R kind of off plane with where the R is and close to the Y so that's pretty damn cool I thought and uh, 379 I, I lost my mind and bought something else that went for the collection and my god my fucking face looks fat holy shit anyway that's my story um, as always if you have any Mark Reynolds or Brand Brandon Webb stuff, I'm probably your guy to go to to see if I need it. Um, at this point, Mark Reynolds stuff, I have very little card needs. If it's not something that's pretty rare, I'm trying to get all the exquisite collection cards that he had from 07. And you've probably seen me post on some of the group breaks if you got them. Um, anyway, have a nice Saturday and enjoy the rest of your weekend.